Two more concepts we want to understand about lists are indexing and slicing. Python, like many other languages, is a zero-based language, meaning that the first item in any list is item zero. The next item is item one, and so on. So in this regions list on line one, north would be region zero, south region one, east region two, and west region three. I'm going to display two index items from the regions and sales list. The first one is a print statement on line five to print the first region and in the first sales amount. Let's run this. That worked as the first item in any list is item zero. One note here, it says press any key to continue. I'll do that because it's a lot faster than clicking the X to closing the window. Now what about the last item in a list? Often you'll want to see the most recent or last item. And we know from the previous video that any item added to a list becomes the last item in the list. I'm going to copy this print statement on line five and paste it on line six. And then I'm going to change the zero to a negative one. Let's see what this does. Negative one represents the last item in a list. This is great as it helps you avoid trying to figure out how large a list is. If you want the last item, use a negative one index. Second to last, use negative two and so on. By the way, these two statements represent slicing, as in you are pulling a piece out of a list to display using index numbers. One more thing, you can use index numbers to replace a list item. I want to replace flow with bell in the employees list. Flow is item 012. I'll skip a line and then on line eight, I'll type employees two equal bell. Then I'll copy the display code from the previous example, paste it in here, and run this. Perfect.